guys welcome back to another tutorial so during this tutorial i will be using um robin yarn it's a hundred percent acrylic made in kenya and this this particular yarn is very thin so i'll be using two strands to achieve medium weight yarn whereby i'll be using my four millimeter crochet hook uh to make today's tutorial and then also uh I'll be using my stitch markers to mark my stitches here and there and also you need a tape measure to measure your um, most importantly your chest area and your shoulder and then the the length of the sweater that you will be making this the length of the sleeves the armhole and also the wrist area so you will you'll need those measurements when you're working on this particular sweater or hoodie so let's just uh, also you you need your scissors i'm using these scissors here um okay and also you can you can also have your yarn needle i have forgotten to get to bring mine so let's just jump right into it so for this tutorial you uh, as i have mentioned you need your chest measurements my ch my chest measurements for whoever I'm making this hoodie for is uh 41 so now you you have in that you will have um if i have in that i'm getting 20.5 now i want to make a chain long enough to achieve exactly that so make a slip knot this is how i make my slip knot and then insert your hook and make your chain long enough to achieve your to achieve ha half your waist measurement not waist but chest measurement so let's make chains this is how you make your chain insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook pull up a loop and as i go i'll be counting my my chains so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So I have a chain of 70. Let's measure together and see. Yes, exactly. It's giving us 20.5 inches long. So with that, I will add a turning chain. So chain two more and then count one, two, three. And the fourth, in the fourth, that is where we go in with a double crochet. So insert your hook in your fourth chain, pull up a loop. You have three on your on your hook. Uh, pull up through two and pull through another two. So we have our first double crochet created over there. And then let me continue making more double crochets. And in this tutorial guys uh, just know we will make tons and tons of double crochets so if you have forgotten how to make your double crochet i will link uh, i will put a link in, a, in the description for you to go back and see how i made my double crochets but this is just how to go about it so continue making your double crochets and then we will come back and see what we are what we are creating on our second um Row. so this is the first row and i'm making just double crochets make a ribbing composed of front post and and back posts so you start with a front post make a front post followed by a back post double crochet the next one make a front post followed by a back post double crochet so on the next double crochet make a front post double crochet see how how beautiful the ribbing is coming up and then make a back post double crochet i'm going slowly so you can see how those front posts and back posts double crochets are made like that 
So continue making these front posts and back posts, double crochets, and then I will meet you once I'm done with this row, and then I show you how you're going to make your next row. So I am coming towards the end of this row, just a few uh, back and front post double crochets to make. So this is a front post, let's do a back post, back post double crochet and then we complete with a normal double crochet in the very last stitch like that. So this is our first, uh, second row and it's a ribbing row, so chain two one two turn your work and then from the previous row you can actually see what was a back post now will appear as a front post and there you will go in with a front post double crochet and then the next one uh, we go in with a back post double crochet like that and then a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet so they're alternating like that front post followed by a back post See how beautiful that ribbing is coming along. So continue doing your front post and, uh, and uh, back post double crochet ribbing row. And I uh, usually do a total of four rows of front and back post double crochets to make my ribbing uh, border. And then I will come back and we continue with the body of the sweater together. So I am coming towards the end of this row. This is our one, two, three, fourth row. Um, so do your back post double crochet, and then this last double crochet, you just do it on top of the uh, chain two space, and um, on on, the, on top of the chain two, and then do your double crochet. Now, um, chain two, and turn your work. Yeah, and then now you will. Now we are starting our fifth row. And on this row, we are going to do purely double crochets uh, without doing our ribbing area because this, this ribbing is going to be the border of the sweater down there. So let's start doing our double crochets. Just go on top of, of each and every previous double crochet and do your double crochet. No increases, no decreases, no front post, no back post. Just double crochets. So we are going to do these double crochets. We are going to build rows and rows of double crochets until you uh, you achieve your desired length of this sweater. If you're making a sweater for an adult or a kid, you know you have taken your measurements and uh, you know exactly how many in inches you need to achieve when you when you're building these double crochets. So for me, I am going to do a sweater of length 29. So uh, by the end of this. I will show you exactly how many rows I have I have built to achieve my 29 inches. So uh, continue doing your double crochets. So I'm coming towards the end of this row, and uh, these are the last two stitches. And then the very last one now you will also ch chain two turn your work and continue working your double crochets remember guys these are going to be two panels the front and the back panel they are very identical uh, except for the neck area I will show you when we 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 approach that part um, the front panel will be will will be a little bit different from the back panel I will show you what I will do so keep watching this tutorial. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment and uh, sh tell me what you like about this um, tutorial so far. Share with your friends, make it and uh, tag me on your Instagram. Let me see what you create if you will follow this tutorial. So keep watching, please.
as you continue building your rows of double crochet until you um you get to your desired length thank you so um i have done 42 um rows of double crochets plus the first four that we had done earlier uh on the ribbing that will give you um 45 uh 45 rows now um this is giving me a total of uh, 22 inches if i unstretched actually unstretched 22 inches and i told you earlier um i am going to do this sweater for a total of um 29 inches now um up to this point i have done this sweater up to the armhole and now the remaining part is going to form the sleeve part and as you can see i have marked here an inch off to mean i am going to i am going to uh to leave out an inch on both sides that gives me two inches and uh, um that in total goes the remaining uh part is 18 inches and that those 18 inches is the shoulder my shoulder the shoulder measurements that i'm going to to be using so i'm also going to on both sides i am going to leave uh four stitches out so i chain one here turn my work and then work slip stitches one two three four and on the fifth so this one two three four work four slip stitches here and then on the fifth fifth stitch that is when you chain two and then continue working double crochets as from the next stitch across until you now you you reach on this other side where i have marked off with a slip um a stitch marker leaving four inches out so we have started working um the the, the sleeve the the back leaving out the sleeve the armhole now uh i want to point out that um my armhole is going to be a total of 16 inches this right here the body of my sweater right now is 22 inches and i need my sweater to be 29 inches the remaining part is seven inches so you you double that because we'll do this for both um the panels you double that you're getting 14 inches but remember this part here is uh, an inch so 14 plus one that is 15 and the other panel will also have an inch which is giving us 16 inches in total so our, our armhole is 16 inches now let me continue working my double crochets until i reach the marked part of the of the panel and then we will see what to do next so i'm working towards the red mark right here leaving four stitches out one two three four now i will chain two turn my work and continue working double crochets to build up my panel still so keep working your, your rows of double crochets and then we will meet as i show you how i'm going to work the neck at the neck area because there's also a little bit of cutout we will need to put that as we complete this panel so here is where i am right now i've done a total of nine nine rows but we are not done yet i'm going to add two more rows without uh, excluding this uh, mid part which which will uh, form the neck area so um just in case you're following my measurements i am leaving a total of 4.5 inches on the side and then uh in the middle i'm going to leave nine inches and then yeah uh but i will do an inch i'm going to to do uh like two two rows that will make, give me an inch on each side so that's a total of 11 inches and uh, human head has an average of uh, 20 to 22 inches so um i'm sure uh, this is going to be enough for for my friend so as i said 
I'm doing a total of 16 stitches on this part. This is going to be the shoulder part. The, the part that will form the shoulder seam. So this is my last stitch. Chain 2, turn my work. Like that. So I'm coming towards the end of the row. Just two stitches more. Chain one and cut. And then I reattach my yarn on this other side that I have marked already. Right here. And uh, do the same thing that I've done on the other side. Two rows of double crochets. Chain two, turn your work. And at this very point, we are done. So fill up a loop and cut the yarn. Now, uh, the, this is going to be the front panel. As you can see, we have, this is going to be the neck area. The shoulder seam will be right here and the other shoulder seam will be here. And then this is the armhole, the sweater's body, like that. So, uh, at this point, we are done with the front panel. Panel. Now, uh, I want you to rewind and do the same with the other back panel, except for this part. When you're working your back panel, just uh, make it to, let me show you. I have already done the other panel on my side. Let me put this aside. As you can see, uh, on this back panel, the neck part is is not just done it solid to work up, up to the, um, the top area but I excluded this part here that will have the the sleeves and the armhole so uh, the next thing we need to do is join the back and the front panel together so identify the wrong side and uh, those will be facing outside because we're going to do a seam so wrong side outside right sides facing and then with that make sure make sure your work aligns properly and then we're going to work a seam i'll be using um my crochet hook to do i will i will just do uh i will use single crochet to work my seam so remember the right sides are facing and wrong sides are out so that when you're working your seam you'll, you when you turn your work actually your seam will be on the inside so um attach your work like that
and start working single crochets all up so uh, to work this seam you'll be putting two single crochets in each double crochet in each double crochet space we do two um, single crochets like that so make sure your work aligns as you're working this seam so you will work this seam on both sides this side and this other side and also come and work your seam on the shoulder area so let me meet you once i'm done with with uh, with my seams so far so good this is where we are at the seams are nicely done look at that shoulder seam and the side seam this is now the right side of our work and um this is the neck area this is where we're going to attach our hoodie and uh i think that is what we're going to work next and then we will attach a pocket here on the front part and then we'll do the sleeves and our sweater will be done so um to to make the hoodie part we're gonna uh, find the mid stitch and then move three stitches one two three and in the third in the that third stitch that is where we are going to do our first stitch i will tell you why when we finish making when we finish making this part now uh go in with um chain three because the first one doesn't really count as a stitch so two three and then continue making double crochets up around this part and then make sure to leave two stitches so this is the last part that you will put your last double crochet so we're going to work just uh, plain double crochets without increasing or decreasing we'll just work double crochets so uh, just work double crochets up to the corner work including uh, the cornermost stitch has to get a double crochet then go into the double crochets on the side put two double crochets in each double crochet on the side like that and then uh, continue working you can put one in this corner right here and then keep working your double crochets on the back side like that across the back So we're approaching the corner also work your double crochets remember to put two double crochets in this very uh, in each stitch on the side two double crochets each in the corner and then now we are back on the front panel we are doing more double crochets there and then
so as I said before make sure you to leave two stitches just before the stitch you had marked before leave two stitches so I'm going to do one last one and then chain two turn my work and continue doing this very double crochets until the hoodie part forms a nice coverage that uh, covers your whole head that is when we will now join it and do the ribbing together so let me just show you uh, the camera so we've done our first row I'm going to do more rows as I build it up until I have the, the length that I want then I will show I will tell you how many rows I did for for my hoodie so continue doing the double crochets without increasing or decreasing so here is our hoodie I have done how many inches let's see 11.5 uh, inches and stretched now um this how many uh, rows are these? Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 22 inches. I have done a total of 22 inches. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to turn it inside out. And then we work a seam on this uh, top area. So uh, that is where we are at the moment. So I'm just going to go in here and work um i'm going to use slip stitch so uh chain one and then line your work well i'm using slip stitches to, to make a seam on this top area so sometimes it's a little bit tricky to work slip stitches but you know you are winging it like that so work your slip stitches all across this part remember this is the wrong side guys so that the seam remains inside there then we will clean it up and do away with all these hanging threads later on as we are done with the whole project so Keep working your seam until you get to this part and then you will cut your yarn off. So I'm coming towards the end of the seam. This is my very last stitch over here. So I'm just going to go in there and uh, do my very last one. Chain one and uh, cut. Then pull it to make sure everything is tightly secured so we'll cut that and tuck it in later but guys this is what we're having look at that seam it is so pretty nicely done like that so this is the right side and now uh, what we're going to do look at that hoodie oh so what we're going to do next is clean off the edge of this hoodie the edging so for this part uh you're going to reattach your yarn uh right at the foot of that uh, hoodie so make a slip knot and then reattach your yarn right here and then chain one to make sure that your your first uh, stitch is secure enough and then now you're going to do a slip stitch on this very first, uh, on the on the on this previous row of uh, double crochets, you're gonna do a slip stitch there, and do another slip stitch towards your previously marked mark, marked stitch. Do another slip stitch that helps you move two stitches up, and then uh, you're going to go back and do a double crochet inside here. On this. Um, hoodie part now we're going to do a row of double crochets on this row on this on this uh, hoodie part so do your first double crochet and then continue doing two double cro crochets in each and every double crochet from the this hoodie from the edge on this edge so like this like 
like that. You see? Now let me continue doing my double crochets. You will do your double crochets until we meet on this other side. And then we will do our front post and back post double crochets together. Just a few more double crochets and we'll be done with this row. So I'm on the last one. This is the very last one. And remember the last time we did our slip stitches to get us to this stitch. Now uh, we will count one, two. Well, uh, one, two, and this is this this right here. The the stitch right before the very last one. That is where we will slip stitch like that. This just helps us to move towards the middle of this hoodie. And then we'll do the, the very thing, chain two. Instead of chaining two, we can actually just chain one, slip stitch in this middle stitch. Let's remove our stitch marker. Slip stitch here. And then also slip stitch in the very next stitch right here. And then turn your work. And continue doing now um we, we're not going to be doing normal double crochets but we'll be doing front posts and back post double crochets back post front post and a back post a front post followed by a back post so that this is going to be like our our clean uh, edge to give it it's going to give us a clean edge on this very end so continue doing your back posts and uh, front posts on across or rather should I say around the hoodie see how mine is coming along cleaning this area up so let me continue doing this front post and then I will show you how it looks once I'm done so I'm coming towards the end of that row oh sorry it's supposed to be a back stitch towards the end of my front and back post double crochets so uh, that was the very last one and then now since we are done and we can't leave it hanging like that we will have to uh, come in here and slip 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 stitch right there uh, just like joining the two the two sides together but we won't stop there we'll go ahead and slip stitch one more time so that it gives it some some kind of overlap and then cut the yarn ensure it's highly secured and yeah you are done at this point you're done but before you completely get rid of this hoodie <laughs> i mean put it away uh you are gonna make a drawstring to put in here so i have uh, crocheted mine already make yours as long as you want it and then you will just uh, put it in your yarn needle and and uh work around your hoodie as you pull it so oh this is getting this a headache yeah guys so i have my yarn ne yarn needle ready to do the trick so we we'll just work with it like that so we're gonna just uh thread it in the front posts will be on the top and the back post will just go to the, the back as we put it through like that all across because i feel like a hoodie needs one so let me thread mine and then i will show you how it looks once i'm done with that So 
that is done. Now, um, I'm good. So make sure they are aligned together well. And then, yeah, I'm happy with how mine turned out. And um, like that. You can tie it or not. So, yeah, that's our hoodie right there. Now, uh, we will cut the hanging threads later. But, now the next thing we are going to do is uh, attach a pocket. We will do a pocket on this one. But my pocket, we will work this pocket differently. Uh, I mean, separately, and then we'll come attach it on here. Because I just feel like overhandling is not right because I'm working on white. Anyway, it is just a, a better way of doing it. Work your pocket now get you already have your measurements here so i like to work mine uh leaving a few on this side we will leave a few um inches on this side and on this side too so uh make a chain long enough to fit the distance that you want your pocket to cover on this lower end and then we'll work uh going up and then reduce and make it um reasonable for a pocket loop so Grab your yarn and hook, make a slip knot, and just do your, your chain stitches long enough. Uh, it should be, it should make sense to you. Like your pocket should make sense to you. I'm going to do mine. Let's just complete and then I'll tell you how many stitches I did. So I've done a total of 62 stitches and uh, this will give us around 16 and a half um, inches. So go back on it and in the fourth stitch, do a double crochet. So work double crochets on top of that chain and then this series of double crochets. I want to do a few rows of double crochets and then I will come back and uh, tell you how many I did how many rows of double crochets I did and the measurement of it I have made this uh, rectangular part of the pocket so I made one two three four five ten um, 10 rows just before the decreases because we need to now be decreasing on the sides so that the shape comes the shape of that pocket comes um now uh chain two turn your work and then we are going to, to do two double crochets together like that let me do that once again yarn over insert a hook pull up a loop you have three pull th pull up a loop through two yarn over insert a hook in the next double crochet pull up a loop you have four uh, loops on your hook yarn over and pull a loop through two you have three and then you can now pull through the three of them that is how we decrease that is how i'm doing two double crochets together and then continue with normal double crochets until you have uh, three three stitches left on this other side because we will also decrease on this side. So right now we're just doing normal double crochets in the middle. We will be decreasing uh, in the beginning and end of each and every row. So I have three stitches left, so I will reduce, work two double crochets together, and then work a, a normal double crochet on the very last um, stitch. And then chain two, turn my work, and also uh, do a decrease from the decrease below, 
and then in the next stitch so i'm doing two double crochets together like that to form a decrease and then continue working uh double crochets normal double crochets until i have three stitches left on the other side so i'm gonna do another one double crochet and then as you can see i'm left with one two three this double two double crochets together the decrease it's uh it counts as one double crochet one stitch so we will go in there with a decrease like that and then do our very last double crochet in the chain two double uh, chain two uh below and then chain two turn from the previous row we are going to decrease also remember we are decreasing in the big at the beginning and at the end of each and every row now uh, you will notice at this moment that your work has started to uh, to bend a little and that is exactly what we are going for so continue working until uh, you reach your desired length of a pocket and then we will do the very last row before we now uh, get our yarn needle and attach this pocket to the body of the sweater that we had done before so i went ahead to do 10 more rows of a uh, decrease decrease on both sides and um, i added another row of uh, front and back post double crochet this this row is optional but i like to add it to just enhance the whole look of the hoodie now as you can see i have marked this part these two parts uh, these parts are going to be the the beginning of the mouth let's just call it mouth mouth of the of the pocket so when i'm, I'm placing it on my on my sweater um when i'll be using my my, my um yarn needle to, to sew in this is where i'll, I'll start I'll start so like or rather I will yes I will start sewing I sew all across up to this point and then you know this point I will just sew it individually but this other will be will be attached to the sweater um, like that so cut your yarn leaving a longer tail that will be used to in, in the yarn needle to sew in the, the, to sew the pocket on the on the hoodie so So this part is done and i am happy how my hoodie has turned uh this is how it looks 
spent i'm going to cut my yarn and weave in and and then the remaining part is the sleeve so after this we're going to do the sleeve so to make the sleeve we are going to make a chain long enough uh, to fit your armhole measurement mine is 16 so i'm going to chain 60 So I've changed 60 and you, as you can see, it's giving me almost 17, 17 inches. So that is not so bad because I need 16 inches. So now I will go into the fourth chain with a double crochet. One, two, three, four. So continue making double crochets all across this chain. So I'm coming to the end of the first row, uh, that is the very last uh, double crochet. Chain two, turn your work, and do more double crochets on the second row. So the first row we did double crochets, the second row we are going to do double crochets. Now the rest of the rows will be decreasing. So continue doing this row. Now I have completed two rows of pure double crochets now I'll, i'm chaining two and uh, going in with a decrease so we do two double crochets together and then continue doing normal double crochets all across this row now for this uh, sleeve we are going to be decreasing on each and every side alternatively like um if we like right now we have started with a, a decrease and then we will do a non decrease row and then the next row we will finish with a with a decrease i will show you as we go along so uh this is a decrease row and we have started with with a with a decrease in the beginning of the row so complete the row and meet me at the end so i'm coming to the end of my decrease row and remember we decreased at the beginning of this row on this side and now um chain two turn your work and do a double crochet row this one is a non-decrease row you will just do double crochets without increasing and then uh the next row is when we will decrease but instead of decreasing at the beginning this we decreased on this side we will come with that row and decrease on this other side so let's continue working the non-decrease row and then we will do a decrease row together so this is the end of my non-decreasing row um placing my double crochet in the very last uh, stitch chain two turn your work since we had de decreased here i've even marked it with a with, with a, a stitch marker so that i don't forget where i had decreased earlier um i'm going i'm going to start my row with just double crochets and then uh towards the end of this row is when we will now decrease so that these decreases don't just congest on one side they'll be alternating you de you decrease on this side you do um a row of non-decreasing and then you come and decrease on this other side you know you do another normal row and then you decrease you decrease on this other side so this is a decreasing row and we will decrease on there on the very last stitch So I'm remaining with three stitches and now I want to do my two double crochets together as a decrease and then I do the very last double crochet in the very last chain, uh, chain two. And we are done with that row. Mark it if you think you might forget where you decreased before. So mark that stitch, that decreasing stitch. So you see we have decreased here and also we have decreased on this side and now the next row is going to be a non-decreasing row so you chain two turn your work and go in with a double crochet on top of each and every double crochet below so that this is how you're going to be alternating your rows you decrease 
don't decrease the next row and then you decrease on the next row but now on the other side if you started with a decrease on this on this very uh, row the next row you will complete with a with a decrease i hope i'm making sense at this point now after you have decreased that very um row the next row is going to be a non-decreasing row so that is how we are alternating you decrease you don't decrease so this this decreases will be gradual it's not um they're not going to clog in one place and it kind of just gives you a nice finish to your to your sleeve because not not so many people like the bulging sleeve um especially men they like it when they're when the sleeve is just fitting right so these decreases are just helping you to shape up your your sleeve now you will decrease until you get your your wrist measurement right here so just decrease until until you get your wrist measurement So this is where I am, guys. After 45 rows of stitching, I have arrived here. Look at how, how the sleeve is forming. I love the shape of it. So now, um, I need to point out that I did 40 rows of uh, decreasing. 40, I, I went up to for the 40th row. And then I added uh, five more rows of uh, just plain double crochets. Now, the remaining part of the sleeve is... Uh, the ribbing part and i would advise you to go a size down or a 0 0.5 millimeter i was using a four millimeter earlier on but right now i want you to go a size down or a 0 0.5 millimeter i'm going to use 3.5 for my ribbing so i'm going with a uh, chain to turn my work and then do the front post and a back post front post back post front post like that so i will do a, a ribbing row for a total of um let's see one two three four five a total of five rows of uh, front post double uh, double crochet and back post double crochet so now once you're done with your ribbing i've done my five rows of ribbing now um we will do a seam on this side identify your wrong sides and uh you know, uh, place the right sides together and then do your seam on the wrong side. Now, I'm going to use um, single crochet to make this seam. You can use a slip stitch. You can use your yarn needle. But I prefer to use a single crochet on this end. So place two single crochets in each and every double crochet until you get to this point. And then we will attach our sleeve to the main body of the sweater. Just make sure your seams are aligning. 
you don't want a scenario where some some um some stitches are out of line just make sure they are they align properly as you're working your seam so yeah continue doing your seam and then i will meet you once i'm done with mine i've completed my my, my sleeve and this is how it looks now um you notice that my seam is right inside there look how beautiful it looks it is a very beautiful seam so as you work yours just make sure these stitches really do align like you can see this line it's just forming some straight lines in there now uh we are going to attach our sleeve to the main body to the sweater that we had uh, created earlier now you will align your seams the seam from the sweater down to the armpit should align with the, the seam from um, the sleeve you can even use your stitch markers to to mark them like that and also at the tip of the sleeve also use your stitch marker to mark that stitch that uh, from the shoulder seam to this other side of the of the sleeve like that just make sure it's in the middle like that so uh, at this moment we're just going to turn our work into the wrong side because that's where our seam should go um this is where we're going to work our seam from and before you start working the seam just make sure your work aligns really well and your this part is in the right middle so align your work well this is your show your your arms arm seam now uh from this point we are also going to use single crochet to to work our seam to join these two seams uh these two panels together i mean the sleeve and the body of the sweater you realize that i did not cut my yarn from working the the the, the sleeve seam i will just continue with the same yarn uh to work this seam to avoid so much work weaving in ends so don't really cut your yarn as you work along now um so just bring my yarn to the right position do a chain and then start working my seam it is very easy at this point so you'll just be taking uh, this side of the sweater and then you take a, a stitch from the other side of the sweater and do your seam your uh, single crochet so when you get to the other side where we have the double crochets this side you'll be placing two double two two single uh, stitches single single stitch in one double crochet and then you take a, a double crochet on the other side and continue working your seam make sure your work is neat because you don't want to present um bulky work or uh, work that is full of hanging threads and and just unpresentable so work this seam and then i will meet you once i'm done so i'm coming towards the end of that seam and uh this part we just do more single crochets towards the very last one and then we slip stitch on our first um, single crochet chain one and then cut the yarn like that now at this point we are done we are totally done with all the parts i want you to uh, rewind and up to the part where we started making this sleeve and then you will do the same for the other sleeve um i'm gonna do the same also because i haven't worked my other sleeve on this side i'm going to work the other sleeve and then i will come back and show you how my work is uh, as as, as, a com as a complete thing so keep watching guys and if you haven't subscribed please do so
and leave me a comment and tell me how you think i can improve my tutorials or anything that you feel like uh, you should bring to light at this particular point i went ahead to complete the hoodie and this is how it looks after i have attached everything this is the the arm seam we have the shoulder seam right there and uh, everything else is just in check as you can see uh, clearly if you have watched this video until this point you really are interested in making this hoodie thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for making this hoodie with me in case you make it please tag me on instagram at margin crochets and let's be interactive on the comment section tell me uh what you feel about this hoodie or anything that you have witnessed during the the, the video Thank you, subscribe, share with your friends, and give it a thumbs up if you truly like it.